evangelism. It is the heartbeat. It is the message. You lose it, what remains is lovely, neat words, beautifully written, but void of power to heal broken hearts, to heal broken homes, to heal broken relationships. The cross, my dear brethren, is that message of evangelism, speaking to the guilt of man, speaking to condemnation by the Holy God, speaking beautifully to eternal forgiveness from the cross. When man was crying, oh, these bulls, I wish I could live a balanced existence. Then that cry of despair entered into the heart of God, stirred eternity, and God responded, for God so loved this world that he gave his beloved son. God took that position very seriously. He stepped from where he was, according to the New Testament, and he came right into that terrible, chaotic existence. And when the beloved son came, he did not stop 99% from the deep-seated need of man. He came 100% to where man was. He put his beautiful hands into the situation. He decided in the picture of his baptism in the river Jordan, he refused to be counted apart from these broken men and women in Africa, in America, all over the world, in China. He came rushing to their rescue, took his place among them, and put his blessed hand in their lonely, trembling hand. And hope entered humanity. The cross is the uniting power in evangelism. We lack unity. Because we think in order to be united, we need to experience the same thing. We need to talk the same language, use the same phrase. Unity never comes that way. The cross draws men from their sins, from their isolations, draws them to the center, changes their eccentricity, and makes them quite centered and therefore normal. What it draws is not the method, it's not a technique, it's not a program. If you draw men that way, they will be left in suspense and confused. Oh, let the cross draw the magnet of God. And men respond and hearts are melted and re re rebels are brought back and prodigals are forgiven. And oh, what a wonderful experience when he draws. Are you going to give him room to draw? Most of us are in the way. We are too strong to give him room. Too big to be blessed. Too nice to be convicted. Too clever to be caught. We need to know that the drawing power of Christ is of Christ in evangelism. We need to present him to men and step aside and introduce him and let people deal with him. Then we can go in the power of the cross, liberating humanity, healing the sick, helping the, the weak, and recovering the sinner. May God bless you, my dear brethren. As you come to receive, receive each other. As you come to embrace, embrace each other. As you come to be blessed, bless each other. And may God bless you as you come forward and making this a tremendous experience as we go hand in hand, leaving Lausanne, excited, fired to preach the gospel, because our churches are waiting, the world is waiting, and to tell our age the good news, letting the whole world hear his voice till he come to rule forever and ever.